This is our 18 foot 2015 Coleman camper. My husband and I camp with our two dogs, Berkeley and Remy. When they were young, we found it necessary to use a kennel to keep them safe and out of trouble while in the camper, but we didn't have a lot of floor space in our small camper. So that's when we decided to take our shower, which we did not use very often because we would usually shower in the campground facilities, and turn it into a dog kennel. So in this video, we're going to give you the directions on how you can do this in your camper. With your accurate measurements in mind, you can begin construction. I started on an end panel using 2x4s for the rails and stiles. I connected them with pocket hole joinery. I then cut a thin piece of plywood and attached it to the back with nails. To protect the shower walls, because I do intend on removing this kennel when the dogs are larger, I used a felt adhesive felt. I then used exactly the same process to complete the back panel. Now moving on to the front wall, which is the wall with the faucet. Because Berkeley is tall, the kennel needs to be the height of the faucets, and I still wanted to be able to access the faucets, especially during the time when we're winterizing the camper. I need to be able to turn the water on and off and clean out the hoses. So I had to be really creative. And this really depends on your faucets, but you can see that I've layered some two by fours to get the right dimensions. And you can see here when it's installed, I'm able to still put my hand in and open and close the shower valves. Now underneath, I was a little worried that Berkeley would get under the hair and accidentally turn on the water. So I also made sure I sealed that off so he was not able to get in there. Moving on to the front panel, you can see that I built a door that swings on hinges and it also has a gate clasp that I'm able to hook with a carabiner for safety. For air circulation, I used galvanized metal pipe that I painted black, drilling holes in the 2x4 sides. Moving on to the top, it is built with the same construction, rails, styles, and the metal pipes for circulation. Start with a piece of plywood, cut exactly the dimensions of your shower pan. Be sure to paint or seal that before assembly. I attach 2x6s to the underside of this that fit exactly in the shower pan. That helps avoid slipping during travel. I started by attaching the back panel. Notice no hardware is used to attach the kennel to the wall so I can remove it when I'm done using it. I attached it to the floor using angle brackets. Then the faucet wall came in next. Again, attaching to the floor using angle brackets and also attaching to the back wall. Finally, attach the end wall to the floor and the back panel using the angle brackets. You're gonna notice that the panels are not flush with the front of the base. This leaves space for the front panel to sit on the base and be screwed into the vertical panels using long screws. The last step is to attach the top using long screws. Notice it is slightly shorter to still allow access to the faucets. One investment you need to make for the comfort of your dog is to buy a rubber mat and some type of kennel cushion to protect them from the angle brackets that were used in assembly. I hope this helps you and your dog to enjoy camping together. If this was helpful, please consider giving us a thumbs up. Have a great day.